Morning. Half seven. Half seven in the morning, yeah. Welcome to my channel. Right, listen. What am I about? I started this channel, for those that don't know me, in lockdown. Um, I used to go to a gym. I still go to a gym, but I used to just be big on weights, yeah. That's all I ever did, yeah. Weight training. I thought I were the bees and age, yeah. And then, during lockdown, all gyms shut. I couldn't do any weight training, so I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a Scooby-Doo, yeah, what to do. So... I got into calisthenics, yeah. Found out how crap. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, right? I might be crap at calisthenics, but listen, I love it. And uh, it's building these, right? And this is what it's all about, people, yeah? You don't have to be an ultimate athlete. You don't have to be the best at what you're doing, yeah? You don't have to be up there, right? Because we're not making money at it, are we? We just want these, yeah? It's all we want, right? So pound them out. Be as crap as you want, yeah, and keep going. Right, so recently, through a fantastic site called Busy Dads Training, I've been uh, introduced to burpees. And I will do burpees once a week, every week, probably forever now. Thank you, Busy Dads Training, and I'll put a link to his uh, fantastic routines. Um, so I've put together what my training is. I do a four-by, I do the burpees, and now, right, because, listen... When you're doing burpees all the time, yeah, and even uh, busy dads will admit it, you're training front. You're training front levers all the time. So your rear levers are missing people. They're missing, right? So I've gone old school, and uh, I can't wait. I've gone into chest expanders, right? Now, they're called chest expanders, yeah, but they don't do your chest, but they do actually chest expand. So let's get warmed up with first exercise. Red band. All you need for this is, is a red band, a chest expander, and about 40 minutes or something. So first exercise, people. Warm up on the band first, get warm. We're going to hold it in front of us, and we're going to pull out to the chest, yeah? No further, no less. Hold. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let go. That's one. Again, big breath in. Now, did you notice where the chest expanded exercise gets its name from? What's the chest? Big breaths, yeah. Right, watch this from the back. Right, that's your warm-up. I've, I've got a funny story about this. I wish I'd have filmed it, actually. These are no joke, these people. This one, I'll tell you now, I got from Amazon. Cheap Chinese £25 Amazon uh, chest expander. Right, I don't recommend it. Already it springs, have, I've only had two goes on it practising. Already it springs are going. And what's even more alarming, these clips, they get stretched out and bend. So you to keep your eye on them. I bought some. I've ordered some carabiners to make it safer. But don't waste your twenty five quid on these. They're from Amazon. They're absolutely garbage. Yeah, dangerous. Not fit for purpose. Right. But I've got a funny tale about this. I had a go with this, and I went for five bands, and uh, with the overhead. I'll show you the overhead quickly. Just checking these things. Right, the overhead. Yeah. Hands outwards, palms facing out, straight arms, big breath, to straight there, yeah, and controlled back, yeah. I did that with five springs. This is why these are no joke, people, yeah. <laughs> right. My strong half grabbed hold of my weak half and literally pulled it over, right, and I felt my bones flex. I'm not kidding, yeah. So these are no joke people, right? I feel like I've been run over by a bus and that was just one slip. So, listen, they're no joke these. 
Start with one band. It's not an ego trip. Yeah. One band. Yeah. You listening? One band. And work up. Right. I learned that lesson yesterday. A hard one. Right. So. Thumb. There. Before you grip. And then you grip. Because if you grip slips. Ching. Yeah. So. Thumb. Thumb. And then get your grip. Right. Big breath. Hold. One. Big breath. Hold. Two. And in your mind, right, it's all about muscle control and connection. Picture the muscles, what's going on behind them. Connect to them, make them pop. Now I'm going to turn around, do it from back. Big breath, hold. Three. Big breath, hold. Four. Big breath, hold. When you get to the end, watch my wrist. Turn your wrist like that. Outwards. Six. Big breath. Seven. Big breath. Remember, connect both muscles. Think of your muscles in your mind. Make them both contract. Yeah, did you see that? Make everything contract, make everything equal, right? First set. I see a lot of people doing chest expanded workouts and they bit they simply do this. Yeah. You can do that if you want, but it's time under tension. The more time that muscle's got under tension, as in hold it, squeeze everything, make sure it's all there. Make sure the ball engaged and back slowly. That builds real muscle, yeah. Now, the beautiful thing about these is the tension never leaves the exercise. You can't beat these. You imagine the power when you've got five springs on and you're pulling those out. You can't beat them, yeah. All right, today will be easy. Early days. This will be like a warm-up, won't it? But two springs after this, people, yeah. Two springs. When you can comfortably do three sets of ten, move up a spring, yeah. So... Start light, get your body used to what you're doing and move over. I'm going to go make a tea, drink a tea, yeah. That's what I would drink. And I'm going to come back and do set two. Right, set two, yeah. Earl Grey, good for you. Well, I like it, right. So, ready? Squeeze shoulder blades. One, hold, turn your wrist out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Right turn round so you can see. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Second set over and done with. They'd say in all your inners, people, yeah? And um, once you start using one, you'll know what I mean by all your inners. Um, they keep all the strain on your tendons throughout the workout. And I, I reckon, yeah, from what I've seen of people that train with these, I reckon, don't laugh, I reckon they train your bone density as well. Years ago, when you, when they digged up, um, digged up, it's not a word, when they dug up um, archers from the olden times, yeah, War of the Roses and all that, they realised that the archers had overdeveloped bones, yeah, in their body, and they were very, very thick, and they were for years of doing this, yeah. Years of doing that, they had overdeveloped sternums and all that, yeah. And they knew they were archers because their bones were overdeveloped. The string strength on this, the pull strength on this, is what strengthens your bones, yeah. You don't, you, you do get it from weight training, 
but not like when you're under tension and you're physically holding someone under tension for time under tension and it's physically fighting you as well. These grow tendon strength and bone strength. Go look at old school people that use these, yeah, they only use these, yeah, they're massive. Right, set three, final set for this one, yeah. It's important to breathe. It's called the chest expander for a reason. You're expanding that rib cage. Right. <coughs> Let's show the physique that is. I can get it out now because I've lost uh, three and a half stone. Is it three and a half? 16 stone seven to uh, 13 stone two, nearly. Get that air sorted out. Right. Big breath. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll show you the back. Nine. 10. Yeah, when you turn, when you stretch fully out on these, these handles, are, they, they've got a mover, twist, and you twist outwards like that with the wrist, so it twists out, and it's an important movement that it puts extra tension on. So just doing that, and another thing as well, if you twist out, if they're going to slip out your hand, that twist out stops it, if you're just holding it in, the, the, you slip, you slip. So basically, twist out, watch, twist that ring. Twist that ring out like that, snap it out. Right, straight on to uh, next exercise. We've got the, the uh, chest expanders all held like that, turn your hands like that, yeah. And when you get to the top, turn your wrists like that, because it's a forearm exercise as well, yeah. Big breath. Just to there, yeah. Some people go there, no. To there, there, hold it. Control, one. Hold it, control, two. Keep your wrist bent. Three. Four. Five. First point is essential, right turn around. Six. Seven. Touch that trap. Eight. Nine. I'm going to do it wrong on this one. I don't want to see this. Don't want to see any of that, yeah. Right, have a breather, I'm going to have a slurp of tea. Welcome back, just had a quick slurp of tea. Right, just a quick note about these as well, yeah. I told you these were rubbish dinner from Amazon, yeah. £25.99, stay away from them. I've ordered some uh, Spenbys. I don't know if anybody remembers them, Spenbys from 70s and 80s, Spenby chest expanders. Um, you can only get them with a few springs now, so you might have to go on eBay or somewhere like that and order two. I've ordered two, so I've actually got a full Spenby, yeah, so I've got my five springs. Not that I'll ever be able to lift them, but... You know, so spend big at them. There's also a new one, I think it's, I might get the name wrong, I think it's Robert Barrowman. Um, they're out of my elite, to be honest, at the moment, but I will invest in one when I get stronger. Right, so, turn, that way. Right, up, big breath. Remember, people forget that it's a chest expander. Where the, where the word chest expander comes from is the big breath, yeah? Build your big rib cage, yeah? And it learns you to... Get the slimmer waist, right, so. Sturdy. One. Two. Three. 
three. Arm straight, yeah? Four. Five. Good thing about these, when you weight training and you get to there, the movement ends because you're resting. With these, six, it's pulling you back all the time. So there you're not resting, you're actually training, yeah? And when you're there, make a mental note, make sure everything's tensed where it should be, and back. If you notice any weaknesses anywhere, sort them out. Yeah, so it's back day today, you know, literally back day, yeah. So your burpees are your chest day, your chest expanders are your back day, yeah. I'm having a drink of tea. Right, first set, people. Final set on these. Hold it like that. Twist. Yep. Remember, leave your ego at home. Start with one band. Because it will get out pretty quick. Take a breather. Chest expander is too strong for this one. So we do it with red band, yeah? But you, you progressed it, chest expander. Hand behind your back. Keep the posture rigid. I don't want to see any movement like this. Yeah. Thumb up when you hold it band. Yeah. It opens your cuffs. It opens your rotator cuffs. Up. And down. Don't let the tension leave you. Up. And down, just as tension is going to go back up. Ten. Swap sides. Put your band under your foot. Remember, you progress onto those eventually. But it's too strong for me at the moment. I've got weak shoulders. Step here. Eugene, stand down. Right, off we go. Keep tension on. Ten of them, yeah. Second set. George Sandow. <laughs> Eugene Sandow. Oh, George. Right. Keep tension on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap sides. Keep them slow, these people. You want tension. You want that tension all the time. One. Two. And this is better than weight training. Three. Four. From a perspective that it trains in us. Six. Seven. And that it's always there. They're always engaged. Eight. Nine. Ten. What happens with weights, people? You've got a dumbbell in your hand. You all know momentum gets it to there so you're only training the top portion of this exercise yeah you're not training what gets you from there to there and what holds you there with the bands they pull all those little muscles out that work 
and the, they've got to stabilise because the band's constantly trying to pull them back. So the training in is, these will sort our weak shoulders out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it if you want to. Ooh, and down. Last set on this side. We're only doing one exercise per body part, people, because this will get difficult eventually, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See this front back, see what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five. Because I want everything to be equal, do another five now. One, two, three, four, five. From above now. So, palms that way. Above, look up. When you look up, keep your neck in neutral, so you're not looking down and you're not overstretching. So look kind of forward and up. Yeah. Keep that thumb there. One. Put your hands back. Two. Don't be doing this. Don't be doing this. Yeah. That overstretches any spring. You're only meant to go to there. How else is being greedy and you'll break your springs? Right, so I'm going to turn around. Up in there, palms facing inwards. And remember that thumb has always got to be there so it can't flick out, yeah? You see a lot of people doing this. If it slips, it's an accident, yeah? There's a reason why you should always have your thumb in that corner. Even if it's uncomfortable, get used to it. Yeah, right. <sighs> Down to the top of your chest. Land on your collarbone. One. So physically pull your lats backwards when you do these. Draw it down with your lats. Three, squeeze your lats. It's not a shoulder exercise, it's a lat exercise. Squeeze your lats back. Oh. Five. These are the perfect one to use a mirror. There's a mirror there. They're the perfect exercise to use a mirror with because symmetry is important. Right, that's five. Show you from back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Last set coming up in a minute. Yeah, take a breather. Tense your abs. Have a quick look at your scent. Nice. Right, last set of these, yeah? Collarbone, hold it. Back up. From the back.
Now, I forgot what I was doing there, people. I actually started to speed it up. I went into weight training mode, yeah. Always consciously try and slow it down. Right, so we're going to do triceps now, yeah. So, hold them like that. Twist your palms round and simply go there. Right, so you see that? Hold them normal. Twist them round above your head. And then drop one arm down. Yeah, simple. Right. Pointing that hand up, keep that elbow straight and stiff. One, two, three. Keep this here. Four, five, six, seven. Hey, watch my elbow now. I let it come that way a bit, and that's just for stretch. Nine. Ten. Right. Don't let go of the bands. Sorry, not bands, chest expanders. And just simply swap position. Yeah, see that? It took me ages to get that. So, like that. Turn. Like that. Yeah. Up. And just to there. It took me ages to get that, people. Yeah. Right. One. Two. And let the let the wire, I'll show you from back. Let the wire drop to the back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Keep a fist. Eight. Nine. Ten. It's always important, people, to keep a fist, yeah? I'm going to swap arms straight away, yeah? No dilly-dallying to there. So let the spring drop to the back. Yep. You'll find it easier on one side than the other. And the tension never leaves you. Swap sides. I find it difficult with this side for some reason. Shake it out. You have to shake it out, people, because things start to get a bit stiff. Because it is hard. Earl Grey. Can't beat a bit of Earl Grey, right? Feel that stretch. You know your own body. Position these how they work for you. I've just found a great position that kills now. Right in the middle of your head. Oh, that's the hardest tricep, whatever they call that, I've ever done, even with weights. Get to the middle of your head. Another thing you do is pull your shoulders back this exercise where they should be. So they're not only in right position under tension, they're getting strong under tension. Keep your chin up. Ten. Ow, I don't 
don't even know if I'm ever going to be able to do that with uh, two bands. Right, one foot on your spring, make sure you've got a good grip, turn your hand, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, Six, keep your elbow as close to your side as you can. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, swap. Get it under that ball of your foot. Make sure it ain't gonna slip. Keep your body, try and keep it posturally sound. All the old bodybuilders built their physiques with these. One in particular, Reg Parks, he used them. He's got a manual on them. I'm going to do one of his workouts soon. What I like about these is it keeps the tension right on the tendon there, yeah? Which is what you don't get from weights. You don't get it. And that's, that's unfortunately where people don't grow training with weights because they don't get that dynamic tension is the word I'm looking for. Dynamic tension. Yeah, when you've got a weight, it kind of stretches it at the bottom, but it doesn't force it to pop at the bottom. These do. These are old school people, yeah? Long forgotten tool. They need to make a revival, I'm telling you, because, well, wait and see. Wait and see in three months what I look like on these. If you go back to my videos when I first started, I was a fat, muscly person. Now I'm medium fat muscly person. You see me in another year, I'll be a ripped to shreds muscly person. Yeah, that's the end goal. 52 years old. Trained all my life, but let myself go in recent years. And that's what I need to get back. That's it. Workout over and done, yeah? So, we uh, did the one band today. Next week, two bands, yeah? When you can successfully do all three sets of 10, add a band, yeah? So it's two bands next week, people, already, yeah? So already we're progressing, but safely. Off. <laughs> over and out. That's what it's all about. Yeah, let's have a look at back because that's what we trained.
Hopefully that popped, yeah, I don't know. Right, thanks for joining me. If you do this every week and you buy a band and we end up on five springs, yeah, we will look like Hercules in uh, about a year. I'll see you later.